Everybody come get her. She's dancing like a stripper. I'm so bored. I'm watching TikTok. I am stuck on that song. But you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? No, do that. Oh, what time is it to bug? Say mukbang. It's time for mukbang. So, this is what I have. Ooh. I wonder if this was the apple from the Garden of Eden that got us all in trouble. Mama. Do you think? And of course, I'm being invaded, so hold on, gang. I think I'm back. I think I am. I think I am. Who knows? Anyway, like I said, you know, in the Garden of Eden, was it an apple that was offered? Well, if it was an apple that was offered, we still have them. Yep. So, whoever used to do this, you get an apple and just rub it on your shirt. Now people don't do it. They wash their apples with vinegar. I don't know what else. I live dangerously. I just, I don't even rinse my apples. If they're in the package, I should. What duty? What duty? You're big. Okay, go down the slide. Hurry. Wee. Okay. That's a moment of uh, interruption. And got J Bug sleeping. I'll show you J Bug. He passed out. He's been playing in his little playpen and stuff. Anyway, so I don't know what kind of apple this is. It's a little apple, but boy, these apples are really good. Mmm. I have to really watch my weight today because I've been holding water weight, eating the wrong things. And this is um, the break my fast. How did I put that? Because, um, let's see, I didn't eat anything since last night about 7, 3, 8 o'clock. That's the last time I had anything to eat. And this is the first thing I've had to eat. It's almost 1 o'clock right now in Reno, Nevada, so. How many hours is that? From 8 o'clock to... We'll say from 8 o'clock to 1 o'clock? Okay, from 8 a.m. I mean, from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. That's 12 hours. 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. So, let's see, 12 and 5, about 17 hours I've eaten, not eaten, but I'm not hungry. Oh, I'm not hungry. So what did you guys do over the weekend? I stayed home, messed around with my dogs, I babysat. Made a pot of sloppy joes. Um, what else did I do? Oh, watch 90 Day Fiance. I tried to, I should say. The reason why I say I tried to is because people come walking in and out of the living room talking to me. Kids crying. And dogs barking, like right now. Googie has no reason to bark. Googie, come here. Googie, come. I'll show you the loud one. Googie. And there's Tippy. That's Tippy. That's Googie. They have no reason to bark. Little son's home. He just came in. He had to drop little mama off to work. That's his old lady. And drop their kid off to the other grandma. Because the other grandma wants to babysit during the week. Googie! I should have cut these in slices. They're pretty good. This apple's like sweet. It's crispy. A little bit kind of on the tart side. Mmm. It smells real apple-y. I don't know. We had an orchard when I was a kid that had apples, apple trees. And this apple makes me think of one of those apples from my our apple orchard when I was a little kid. 
Mm, can't hardly bite it. I will say the skin is tough, though. This peel, rather. So, I can't really talk intelligently about 90 Day Fiance. Oh, I got apple on my nose. Ew. That looked like a booger. Mmm. No. I don't eat boogers. You know me, I'm weird. I'm always doing stuff to try to make you guys laugh or gross you out. So. Anyway, so... I don't even know what happened on 90 Day Fiancés last night. TV was on. Oh. David, the one from Las Vegas. That went to Russia. Nobody opened that door for him. So. I don't think anybody opened that door. But anyway. He gave up. And he's going back to Vegas. And Yolanda... The black lady from Las Vegas. She has her kids helping her figure out who this Williams is. And I know, and they were looking on the internet. I guess they finally found out that he is an Italian model. Mm -hmm. So he is a catfish. See, if he's not asking her for money, I mean, what's this game about? I've been catfished. And when they start off, oh, I love you, you're the most beautiful thing, blah, 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 you know. And then they say, they want money. They're in the military. They're out in the boonies somewhere, but they can't get their pay because they're in the boonies, but they want you to send them money. So, a little bell should go on. So, if anybody's like getting fat catfished, they're telling you, they're in the jungle, they're in the boonies somewhere, and they can't get their money. How the fuck are they going to get your Western Union to them? Does that make sense? It makes perfectly sense to me, so. Stupid. How can how can anybody be so stupid? I mean, it's just dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Every time I record myself, I get, look at my hair. Look how dark my hair looks. The bottom part of it. it looks red today. Usually it looks blonde. It must be the light. The light in the room. Everybody says, what what color hair do you have? And stuff. I'm like, well, it's supposed to be like a strawberry blonde type of hair. But I don't know. We're eating and I'm talking about hair again. Ah. Mm. So... I wonder if the the Corona Test Force is going to be on TV today. Trump Friday was only on there 22 minutes. Well, maybe his part wasn't 22 minutes, but the whole task force thing was only 22 minutes. And he's all upset because people took what he said literal. He was talking about, you know, why can't we have some kind of, like, disinfectant to disinfect the blood? He's not talking about Lysol. He's not talking about Ip Ipsy, whatever, alcohol. He's talking about some kind of a medical thing. And everybody's taking that shit and running with it. He didn't mean that, like, what people were taking it as. And he was talking about the ultraviolet light. Because this one doctor or scientist guy said, <coughs> ultraviolet light kills the coronavirus. So the sunshine, you know, like, if you go play outside, you know, little kids go play outside, you can still get the coronavirus because the under the, the slides and the playground equipment is dark. So, but whatever, wherever the sun hits, the coronavirus won't be on. So they're encouraging people to go outside and go hang out a little bit, which is a good thing, a very good thing. So, yeah, you know. But anyway, he was saying, well, what about ultraviolet light in somebody's body type of thing? And... You know, they're already kind of doing that because when the little kid, little babies are born and their Billy Rubens are up, they put a blue light on these kids in, in the um, nurseries or NICU units, units that kind of helps their blood so their liver enzymes aren't like skyrocketing. So I wonder, you know, so maybe that's, that's something to think about. And I've seen on the um, news or somewhere, but it was a viable source. It was a really viable source. They're talking about like breathing tubes and stuff like that. Maybe putting some kind of a LED lights in these breathing tubes. They're already doing this. 
putting them down in people's, uh, you know, lungs and stuff to, they're already testing this, so let's see if this works. You know, I hate to get on here and talk about the coronavirus every day, but we're living it, you know. And um, people are chomping a bit to go to work. You know, where's my stimulus check? I haven't gotten one yet. I know a few people that's gotten them, but everybody else said they didn't get any. Even unemployment benefits. I know people that's on unemployment right now. They haven't seen nothing yet. I mean, I don't understand, but I guess it's another mystery from God we're not supposed to understand. But that's okay, though. We're all going to get through it. We're surviving. You know, this stuff will end soon, I'm pretty sure. Mm -mm -mm. What do you need, Diddy Bug? You finally eating your apple? Oh, she says life is better with fruit snacks. She's eating fruit snacks. Okay, go over there and eat your fruit snacks. Hmm. What you doing, Diddy? She's trying to get me to open her fruit snacks, but I can't open fruit snacks and hold this. So you know what? They make these damn things where I can't even get into them. Hold on, I'm going to put you on pause again so I can use both hands to open these fruit snacks. Okay, I think I'm on. Yeah, I'm on. Well, she appears to be happy now. That doesn't take too long. I don't know why. I can't open fruit snacks hardly. I can't open Slim Jims. I didn't get to go to the store this weekend. So I'm out of tomatoes. <laughs> I need to go to the store and get tomatoes. And bananas. And some more fruit. Need more apples. I don't know. I've got stuff in the fridge I don't want. I mean, let's just, you know, how can I put this? Some people need, some people, some people, without mentioning names, need to just be happy and count their blessings. They have a roof over their head. They got a bed. They have a bathroom, a shower, food. Might not be the food that you actually want, but if you're eating macaroni and cheese or ramen noodles or something like that, you got food. You know, I'm a cheapskate. Even when I'm broke, I always have stuff because I prepare. I'm not saying I'm a prepper, but I prepare. I make sure that I have stuff in my cupboard. You know, and stuff like that. It might not be like an Omaha steakhouse or Red Lobster meal, but, you know, I got food. And I'm, I'm very appreciative of everything I have. I have a roof over my head. I have a shower. I have a, a toilet that works. And let's see, what else do I have? Food in my fridge, food in my pantry. And I don't have the money where I can just go out and, like, buy, 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 buy to fill everything up. So every time I do go grocery shopping, I buy a few extra cans of this or a few things of that and put them on the shelf. And eventually it builds up. Now I always have a little bit of money in my pocket. So if I want McDonald's, I can go to McDonald's. I'm not a really expensive type of person. You know? That's why I survive the way I do. People think I'm rich because I have a house and a car and stuff like that. I'm not rich. I'm responsible. I don't spend my money on a whole bunch of bullshit to clutter up my house. Things that I lose in my house I'll never ever see again. You know, like fancy makeup, fancy this, fancy that. You know, you know God bless the people that can afford, you know, boxes of... Uh, this and that sent to them every month. God bless you. I can't afford it. And I'm not bitching. Even if I could afford it, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. You know? 
I don't understand like these Ipsy boxes. Not Ipsy. What is it? Oh, maybe it is Ipsy. No, stitching, sewing stitch or something. You get all this expensive clothes. That's like, you know, each one of those articles of clothes are so expensive. I don't know if you want to send the shit back. Well, you have to. Unless you're going to go in debt and keep it for a couple hundred dollars. Who can do that? Or these makeup boxes. They send you little tiny samples of makeup. And then you're paying like 20 to $30. Maybe 15 I'm probably getting it wrong because I don't know. I don't buy this stuff, but I can't understand why anybody would. You know, if you got... You know, if you're bored, like I used to buy magazines. I used to have a magazine subscription. Um, I like to read. And the different charities would come around and say, well, if you buy a magazine subscription for me, some of it goes to charity. So, oh, okay, you know. So, Better Homes and Gardens, um, cooking magazines, magazines about pets. So I used to subscribe. I'd have like two magazines coming, you know, every month. And then I would donate them to like places that have waiting rooms that need magazines to look at or to the school. You know, why not share? <laughs> but why have so much shit in your house? The postman's going to come every day. Bringing a box of shit. Then you lose stuff in your house because you can't find it. You know, and it's like I often wonder, people like that, you know, I don't know if they have a shopping addiction or what. But what's the purpose of having stuff like 20 million of one thing or being materialistic like that? I don't get it. Well, that's enough about that. If anybody out there, if I hurt anybody's feelings, if anybody's like a shopper like that or something like that, didn't mean to hurt your feelings. You know, it's just my opinion. And I don't, I don't think bad personally of people that do that. My son has a shopping addiction. My big son. If it's online, he's going to order it. Is that so much shit? I swear. I just disagree. But I'm not gonna, you know. Whatever. <laughs> I can say, whatever. Mm. Okay. What else can I talk about? Um, I don't like to be a review channel, but how about Foodie Beauty? Beauty Foodie, whatever. Chantel. And she's eating her food with zest, like Cookie Monster. And she says that her weight's nobody's business. Well, it's true. It is nobody's business. But I think the people that do care about her want her to be healthy. You know, I've left comments. I can't even comment on her shit no more because she blocked me. I cannot comment. I can watch it, but I can't comment. Unless when she does this pay chat, you, you pay to chat. I'm like, mm. so I'm not doing that. But anyway, she's. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know, she's just, that girl needs to reel herself in, that's the only thing I'm going to say. And then we got Amy's Journey.